Hello, my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heyer, and I believe in dragons. And I feel so welcome in my forest to be here again uh, when it's almost nighttime. <laughs> and so I'm uh, going to stay here for a while because I would like to see it. And I wish you could be here because this forest is so beautiful and uh, so filled with energy and endless. And um, not a lot of people come here. You know, if you if they would see me here in this place, they would say, I mean, with all of the rituals that I do for my dragon here, uh, they would say, wow, there is a crazy guy, let's run, because he's doing witchcraft or something like that. And yes, of course, I'm doing witchcraft, draconic witchcraft, which it's not the same as normal witchcraft, but totally 100% based on the dragon's energy and the dragon's spirituality. Not... You, you better not learn from this in books, because the best way how to learn dragon witchcraft is from your own self. From your own dragon spirit that is within, and your dragons that are on the side of you. And it's just this... Um, all The dragons is always full cycle. You know, the dragon is always balanced. Not only light and dark, not only... Um, let's say the, the energies of the four elements, but also... Um, the gender energy that you have, it's where people for some reason have a large um, problem with, you know, in, especially in religion, just they just don't, they just don't uh, tolerate someone, for example, who is female that feels more like male or who is male that feel, feels more like a female. You know, my dragon goddess has a lot of female energy and also the guardian, but I feel a lot of male energy as well with the dragons. And as for me, I'm a male, but um, after all of these years, I have to admit that I felt a lot of female energy within me, around me. I don't even know if the, uh, the dragon spirit that is within us had a different gender than us. It could have changed after so many times. It doesn't uh, say that... Um, in yeah, for example, in a, in a previous circle of life, that you might have a different gender. It could be, and you can still feel this today. And this has a, a, a giant effect on how you met your dragon. Does it mean that you have to have a sexual relationship with the dragon or something like that? But it's more like energy. Whenever you come together, it has to be a balance. And a balance between also the four elements, light and dark, but also a gender energy. So if so, if you actually are male or a female, then it has a large actually yeah, chance that there will be a dragon around you that has a different gender. And if your dragon awakens your soul, it means actually that you are, can be awakened with the energy of a different gender. That it will be uh, a woman inside of you, I mean a female inside of you, a female dragon that is awakening in a male, um, in a male body. You, it's, it's possible. And this dragon is always growing and getting more attached to you as you are, as a, a male or a female or whatever. Uh, and it will eventually become in balance. It's just the same thing as your dragon eye. You are also in balance between your god and your guardian and yourself. In between of the dragon eye, you will become one together and you will melt together as one deity, as one god on this earth that is uh, scattered around the, the dimensions. It's just the same as there, as you are here, um, actually, more like saying, what, what actually am I? Am I a human? Am I a dragon? Am I a male or a female? What actually am I? And so all of these questions will be revealed eventually. The thing is that I never actually really cared about sexuality and things like that. I just never wondered myself this, unless it was um, uh, something that I felt very, very much. And that was the energy, because dragon magic, and that is something that I came to discover, and from there on, I had a lot of interest in this, that dragon magic, male or female, have differences within them. And you know, um, in spirituality, it's like one gender has the upper hand. Um, 
for example, in all of these religions, like in these Abrahamic religions, then male is the dominant uh, one. And like in Wicca, most of the time it's a female that is the dominant one. You can say no, but it's most of the time yes. <laughs> you have to admit this. The Wicca witches, it's all female. Well, not dragon witches. Dragon witches are 100% 50-50. It's just like a tree. A tree, for example, as well, is always 50-50. Um, unless, of course, it's a creature of flesh and blood, then it has a choice. <laughs> then it's not a choice. Um, then it's um, the nature that decides for them whatever you are. One of the both. One, which, one, which side of the 50-50 will you be? If you look into the world and who are male and female, it's always going to be 50-50. So it's unfair to say that this is the dominant one it's unfair it's always the same it's just the same as the light and dark they always strive for the light because it seems good but the thing is you are blinded by the light and just don't know what it does if you take an extreme that is how humans are of course they just don't seem to think for themselves and um, that is why I came to think more and more. It's just like the four elements. We are like in a circle for the four elements. And um, I know that the earth, of course, is very, very close to me. But I know that the three other elements are also very close to me. Because it's like energy is moving, constantly moving. And this circle, this is going to be... Um, you know, every element is going to pass you and is in this circle. It will move around. Of course, you will always have the higher point with one element, but all of the elements will eventually pass you. That is just the same with gender energy. Both of the gender energies will pass you. And so um, you, will, you might feel both of them, whatever you are, male or a female. In the dragon, there is nothing like extremes. You have to feel everything and which everything i mean everything and that is why i say that the dragon's path is a very confusing path and a very difficult path that is because there is no information and there is also nothing that you can um, read from it and there is also uh, yeah uh, no rules something that you have to discover 100 percent, and it's so difficult sometimes so confusing um so, but yeah, I, I came to understand and know my dragon, so I n wanted to know more. But there is so much to know, so much to know about yourself, of what you're going to be if you accept the dragon and accept your dragon spirituality. There is so much to know, my brothers and sisters. And there is not one truth, because your path is unique. So this cycle that you have with the dragon is so unique that whenever uh, nature is moving whenever the energies are moving for you it's going to be something unique your wheel your wheel of of dragon energy is constantly moving of gender energy of of energy from ele elements uh, from light and dark it's constantly moving moving and moving and your dragon is with you to teach you all of this and you have only need to understand what this is that is the only thing that you have to do to need to understand but don't come too fast into a conclusion because i came very fast into conclusions and i had to change my my opinion or my judgment even so many times that i want to, that i said ah now i'm going to uh, not to change my mind that easily, not again. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it, I was, I was changing too much. I mean, it, it doesn't have one, yeah, it's so, it's, it's confusing. That is what I want to say. Gender energy, um, elemental energy, um, light and dark energy, uh, yeah, all of the energy, even the voids energy. You can all feel it, all going to pass you and all going to, uh, even the energy, and that is the most beautiful one, of the of the dragon realms where you can feel at home. And the dragon realms, my brothers and sisters, I can feel them much, I can feel the most here in this forest. That is why I'm here so, I like to hear so much, I like to be here so much, I mean. And that is because it feels like home. So I came to discover that this forest feels like home so that is something a puzzle piece that i could, could place in the right place uh, that is um that i feel home here that the dragon within feels home so now for gender energy for light and dark for elemental energy 
I still need to find this out. We all, always are searching and searching for the dragon. It never stops. Searching for ourselves as well. We are such a complex beings. As, um, the dragon witch, the dragon wiccan, the dragon follower. We are such complex beings. And so our search is never going to stop. That is why there is not one truth. There are so many. And as just there, as just like there are so many dragons and so many dragons, uh, and I mean so so many people who follow the dragon and who are dragon witch or Wiccan or follower. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.